so welcome let's see the productivity setup so this productivity setup has a Dell Precision 3440 workstation then a 27 inch monitor then it is APC black back UPS Pro 1000 in addition to that we have Epson Epson L805 so let's start the first is your APC then one by one we'll proceed with the monitor and the workstation so all these connections are made over here so first of all let's start the monitor so first let's start the monitor you can see it has been highlighted now start the workstation now you can see the screen so you can see dual 27 inch monitor so it is also occupied with a hard disk and several uh, hard disk as well as one ssd so details of this will be shown further so let's check out this hard disk are connected with four port portable hub which is uh, tp link so it is connected on the back side you can see over here so this is how the tp link so this is uh, has four ports and usb 3.0 so let's start the computer so let's okay so this is how the screen is so let's talk about the configuration of the system So it has been connected with uh, it is the different hard disk one of them is ssd you can see here this one then it's external hard disk and then this is a external hard disk that is of 6 db in addition to that we have two different hard disk which has been connected here one it is 2 tb and second one it is 320 gb so both of them are the hard disk one of them is ssd so this is your hard disk which is uh, WD so in addition to that we have one mic which is required if you are doing the presentation if you are doing the attending the meetings so this is the better one with uh, you can see different lightings which are been available you can see the different shades so in addition we have one truck so if somebody wants to use it say for bluetooth so you can connect with the bluetooth over here so you can see truck fit so it can be connected and you can hear the noise also so this is one thing apart from that this is a wi-fi enhancement device for dell so it increases the range then this is airtel wi-fi hotspot it is basically for the internet connection and interrupted in internet connection for the pc in addition to that uh, this is samsung level u2 so it can be connected to the computer you can see here so this is a bluetooth one so easily it can be connected you can see there are two things one is samsung level and two kit pro so which one is the convenient so that can be utilized it is provided with the apc backup pro ups so it has a wattage of 660 you can just start the app also so this app helps us in knowing the performance as well as it can say the current status self test we also can run so whenever the power was interrupted your estimated battery time that is also specified whether you required to replace the battery or not so there is also uh, i mean uh, we can say uh, 
obtained from this particular software so voltage sensitivity then run time so energy management so various options are been available so performance so blackout so three times it has the blackout has occurred uh, so time on battery is 6 hours 52 3 seconds so this is uh, some information when there is the power failure so you can observe the same so we had uh, Dell keyboard as well as the Dell mouse which is provided in addition uh, this is a Canon sorry this is a Epson L805 ink tank printer it has a separate ink tank on the outside so it can print out can be used for taking the print out especially the color one and you can also take the photocopies high quality photos uh, with the help of the same printer so this is how uh, regarding the setup uh, the configuration of the setup is uh, you have uh, Intel Xeon system okay so you can see <coughs> 32 GB RAM has been installed then uh, this is an Intel Xeon processor 3.2 gigahertz it can go at max uh, up to 4.7 to 4.8 gigahertz also so you can see here the CPU usage which uh, it can goes around 4.76 or 4.78 gigahertz so memory is 32 GB so you can uh, especially if you are doing the computational fluid dynamic analysis so in that case it's really helpful uh, there are different hard disks which was connected first one uh, this one it is uh, <coughs> 1.8 TV capacity you can see then disk one it is Samsung NVMe SSD which has came with uh, the workstation itself so that is 512 uh, GB then this is again uh, WD uh, we say USB it is 6 TB hard disk uh, which is this one uh, especially if you want to save the CFD files in that case we can make use of this this is one another one which is uh, uh, this is uh, 1.8 TB capacity which is the uh, we are having so first one was 1.8 TB that was the internal hard disk which is uh, with the workstation which has came and this one is the one which we are connected externally this one then this one is uh, 240 GB uh, SSD is there so that SSD where which we have kept inside uh, and because actually it has been taken from the older laptop so and it is now connected to your workstation so 240 GB uh, is there then okay so this is again uh, one of the old hard disk which is 320 GB uh, again it has been taken from the old laptop then GPU uh, by default GPU which was available then Nvidia Quadro P1000 it has been uh, been used in this computer so it has been taken uh, it has been purchased while uh, the workstation has been purchased so this is uh, came with the computer came with Windows 10 but now it has been updated to Windows 11 404 workstation so uh, just few weeks before the Windows 11 update was available accordingly it has been updated so this is how uh, we can say the setup is there especially it is uh, used for uh, CFD simulation as well as uh, we want to run the longer file so this has uh, this is why this workstation has been purchased I will just try to show you one file which is uh, it's a quite uh, long uh, we can say large files you can see the file size is around 364 GB so uh, we say the file size are quite bigger and that's why uh, we can say to handle such large things it requires a better hard disk as well as a better configuration of computer so this is again uh, one important thing that is watch we always need to careful with uh, the time which has been there so it can be a simple one which we can purchase that will be a good productivity setup so this is all regarding the setup thank you in addition you may require to clean the computer so uh, this is one accessory which has been purchased to clean 
other things because there can be too much of dust inside so this is one last thing uh, which is very important uh, the one which was told uh, regarding to the mic it is the uh, cosmic bite so this is the flexible microphone it has rgb lighting so quite better uh, recording can be done as well as the voice over can be done with the help of this so this is one good accessory for the setup like this the monitor used here has a 60 ampere plug so that's why a different socket has been required so there are a total four sockets which are uh, on the battery backup and two are just for surge protection so the printer has been set on surge protection whereas hard disk and this external hard disk has been kept as a backup as well as uh, we can say a workstation and the monitor is be kept on battery backup so just take a quick look of this uh, here so it right now it shows 43 minutes of backup but if you are running to a, to a higher load then considerably it can be less then uh, 119 watt which has been consumed as of now this is uh, only 19 percent of thing and you see it is 239 volt which is coming so this is how about the setup uh, okay when this is dealt this is for enhancing the wi-fi connectivity